Hey everybody, <clears throat> it's Tyler with Gaia Force Gaming and I have a gameplay video from our locals at Cool Comics and Games in Cape Coral, Florida. Uh, we are doing the Ultimate Cup Modified Rules. Just uh, we all voted on it and agreed to play with the Modified Rules for locals. Uh, and it is me on the left playing Machine Dramon versus George on the right playing Mervamon. So uh, the modified rules, uh, if you aren't aware, for the Ultimate Cup in March and April are single color deck building along with mulligans and a small uh, ban and restricted like buffer, like more ban and restricted cards. Uh, so I open up with Chumon and then I play a Hagurumon discarding a Mega Dramon to draw two. George here is gonna open up with a Ghazi in the back and then he's just gonna play a Ignite Mon. I'm going to evolve to Numamon and then right into Metal Greymon to kill that Ignitemon. Uh, he's going to take a swing with Ghazi, hit a Haguramon. Uh, George's deck isn't the loop deck, but it is like the retaliation Merva Minerva combo. A uh, pretty interesting deck. Again, we can only build with a single color, so all, all of the cards in our deck have to share a single color. Uh, mine is black, George's is purple. How do you take that swing with Chumon? End up bottom decking. The top card, I just play an Analog Man, which is where I want to be. Analog Man's really good to have set up in this deck. He does hit Nanimon from security, which is awesome for me. Put more of that pressure on. Beginning of main, I Analog Man to draw and gain a memory. We're going to see the Andromon come down, <clears throat> adding the Chaos Dramon to hand. And I am just going to play Hagromon. Draw two more cards. I'm playing super passively this this game. Uh, I wasn't really sure what to expect from George's deck. Um, I haven't really play tested this a lot. I just simply took Leechy's list that won the GFG event and kind of modified it a little bit. Not much, I think one card difference as like a ratio choice. Uh, just mostly because I wanted to play with the Machine Drawn deck so I know how to play against it. Uh, I'm really still deciding what I want to play for the Ultimate Cup that I'm in. So yeah, I'm playing super passively this game, which may or may not be a good idea. Again, I'm unsure really what the Merva Minerva deck is capable of. I'm not sure what George is running in it. So here he does swing the Ignite to pop the Andromon, killing his Merva. Or Minerva, I'm sorry, not Merva. Getting back scatter mode. He does hit another Nanimon, which is great for me. Passes the turn with a mat, getting back Skull Maramon. So here, beginning of main, I do the thingy. We do swing, get a Chaos Dramon to hand, swing again. We're going to see another swing. And then I do just go into the Machine Dramon. Adding Analog Man to hand and the Mont Galgo underneath. Get a swing there. And then I do redirect his last swing. Now he's thinking about what he should do here. I believe he is just going to play a Merva. Yep, so he has the, the Merva Mon here. Pops the boost. 
evolves in the back plays another boost and this is where I say why don't you just play the Merva and he's like you're right because he was di he said he was digging for a blocker and I reminded him that Merva gives all his his stuff blockers his retaliation and did you cross and he did play yep and then I evolve into the Castromon and he did evolve the thing anyway so we did evolve the Merva attack trash the card and swing for game uh, so that was game one uh, again our locals we're, we're practicing so we're not taking it super sweaty so I didn't mind you know reminding him that he had a better play help people you know build themselves up a little bit help people uh, get the good practice in you don't want to lose to a misplay and then not reinforce good techniques for bigger events So here we're getting ready for game two. I believe he asks me to go first. If I am not mistaken. I open the Hagaramon, draw two, which is a really great opening. And he just slams down the Eismon. Evolve to Chumon in the back. We are going to swing. I'm going to play another Hergaramon. Get some more cards going. He has his boost looking for his pieces. Do you swing with... Schumann adding a Nani to hand. This one I am being a lot more aggressive because I'm a little less hesitant about what's in his deck. I just play a Nani Mon to put him to two. We are going to swing with that Nani Mon. I have the Chumon in the back. Here, I almost played the wrong machine draw on. I do decide to just put him to 10. Put that pressure on. See how it goes. Just, just try and plays out. We don't add the analog man. I have no analog land in this uh, game, so I am just trying to rush as quick as possible. I did put reboot underneath, so... I do have a machine draw on. on board but George did end up with 10 memory and he's building up his stacks working with that he does have that Numamon in security <clears throat> popping his boost He's going to play the Mervamon, Digi-Crossing, and getting his memory for the Ignite. I'm going to push up. Let's double check how many blockers he has. Then I do evolve to the Chaos Dramon. D digivolving his Minervamon, or his Mervamon rather. He's reading the Chaos Dramon. So I D digivolve his Mervamon, but I am going to swing. And here he blocks with the Devimon, discarding the Nidhogg, moving up. While I'm reading the card, he moves up the uh, the memory thing, and then I was like, "Oh, but I have Chumon." He's like, "Oh, yeah, you do." So then we're, we're done with the game. So that uh, that was game two zero for Machine Drawn. I think Machine Drawn's super strong. Uh, if you guys are playing this format, let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe as always, and thank you for watching. More gameplay videos coming soon.